traveled a long way to be with us, here with us this evening, and we're really happy that you could join us. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to Detroit. It's the hometown of Chevrolet. It's also the place I chose to live when I moved here two years ago to join the company. And that's right, I, I live in downtown Detroit, which causes a bit of surprise among some people. Uh, it's, a, it's a great city. It's a city that's really experiencing a significant transformation in a region that you know, traditionally has been associated with manufacturing. But right now, it's expanding in so many areas beyond that sort of auto industry history, and it's really becoming a center for arts, technology, uh, and financial services. And for those of you who are not so jet-lagged and go out later tonight, you'll feel that there's truly a real buzz going on here in the city. Um, it's a place, too, that has really come back, I think, due to two factors, um, determination and ingenuity. Uh, and I believe that these are really the qualities that we embrace in Chevrolet and how we're starting to build uh, the brand around the world. You know, Chevy's global footprint spans more than 115 markets, and many of you here tonight represent those markets. There's 70 nameplates, and that means we have a tremendous opportunity to tell our story around the world. In fact, uh, if you count it on your clock or on your watch or on your Shinola or your Apple Watch, uh, about every seven seconds, someone is taking delivery of a Chevrolet somewhere around the world. You know, here in the States, we draw on a, on a rich and long heritage a loyal customer base, and we have names like Corvette, Camaro, Impala, and Silverado that are collected and actually celebrated by generations. There's markets around the world where we're a young brand, and we're telling the story really for the first time. Uh, Nameplates like Sail and Spark, Trax and, and Cruise, and they represent a kind of freedom uh, and access to affordable transportation. I get to travel a lot. I sometimes feel like keep Delta Airlines in business. But uh, earlier this spring, I was in Korea at the Seoul Motor Show, and, and a young man at the Duty Free Shop noticed my lapel pin, my Chevy Bowtie lapel pin, and proceeded to tell me how much he loved his Malibu. And then just a few weeks ago in South America, in Ecuador, uh, there was a customs agent again noticed uh, the lapel pin, and he happened to be a cruise owner. Now, coincidentally, on the way out of the country, good for me, he was working the immigration counter as well, and I think I probably managed to sell him another, or maybe upsell him another Chevrolet, along with getting out of the country safely. But no matter where you go, where you are in the world, um, the story always is the same, and it starts 100 years ago, over 100 years ago, with the founder of the brand, Louis Chevrolet, and his determination to never give up. And it's because of that determination that we're turning possibilities into reality through ingenuity. And what I mean by that, I'm going to show you here in just a quick film. The future will be defined by those who dream. Those who see the impossible and go. They'll fail. fails. Innovation succeeds. They find a new road. One full of creativity. One full of ingenuity. No dreams are impossible. determination and ingenuity. And you know, because of our openness to see possibilities, we're also able to find new roads. That's, that's the brand promise that we make at Chevrolet. Find New Roads embraces the spirit of innovation that's been part of Chevrolet's DNA from the very beginning. And as you'll see throughout the day tomorrow, it's guiding every aspect of our business and how we do business around the world. Find New Roads isn't just a tagline, it's a North Star. The guides product development, marketing, communications, and as I said, how we do business. And when we take the core values of the brand and we add the learning from our customers around the world, we're actually able to deliver the right products and the right experiences. Ultimately enable us to make a connection with the consumer by telling a really great story. Let's take a quick look at an example from Brazil. 
how we're doing this in one of our top three markets. And in Brazil, like here in the US, we have a long and rich heritage. In fact, Chevrolet celebrated its 90th anniversary there earlier this year. And while we offer a, a, a wide range of global vehicles, one of our most successful products is a small car called the, the Chevrolet Onyx, designed specifically to meet the needs of the consumers in that region. It offers the right package, and even more importantly, it offers the connectivity and functionality through the MyLink uh, infotainment system, and that's really what people want. And because we got the technology right and the product right, we're able to tell a relevant and an authentic story in our advertising that resonates with the consumers there. Let's take a look. Chevrolet Onyx was my link system for car designed for nowadays. Chevrolet, find new roads. So I'm sure you can all relate to when you don't have your mobile phone, or in my case, my two mobile phones with me at all times. You feel rather naked uh, when it's not with you. And I think this spot reinforces our sense of humor and also how important it really is for us to connect the consumer and their personal, personal technology and make it as seamless as possible with the vehicle that they're driving. So now let's take a shift gears a little bit and, and take a look at an example from the US. And it's another example, another demonstration of how the brand is finding new roads in every aspect. And in this case, it's the new Chevrolet Colorado. You know, we made a big bet introducing a new product, really I think an exceptional product, into a segment that all the experts said was dead but how wrong they really were. And it took a brand with a little bit of courage and a lot of imagination to restart this conversation with those consumers from a market that had essentially left them behind. The results have exceeded anything that we could have imagined. So I want to give you an, uh, show you a little bit of how we're telling that Colorado story. And the first one is an online piece that we debuted uh, with the concept of focus groups. Uh, you might see while you're here in the States, this is also moving into the other campaigns that we're using here in the US, but it started originally uh, with this piece of film. So let's take a look at that. Can a truck make you more handsome, more dependable, more rugged? We came here to find out. We talked to real people, not actors, including kids, mature people, young single women, rich housewives, guys with beards. Hello, thank you for coming. We showed them two pictures of the same guy in the same location. The only difference, the vehicle behind him. Which guy is more handsome? He <laughs> <laughs> just looks, you know, warm. But bam! Which man is sexier? Truck. Truck. Yeah. Which one of these two guys would you rather have date your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is definitely the guy your mom wants you to marry, and this is the guy you're gonna run off to and leave him to be with him. That truck is gonna protect my little girl, and I'm always concerned about getting her home safe. Show me how truck guy would shake my hand. Oh. The guy with the truck would definitely have like a German Shepherd dog. I mean, come on, like a tarantula, a rattlesnake. What kind of pet would this guy have? Maybe like some birds. If this guy could grow facial hair, what would he grow? Just a soul patch. The truck guy. Mutton chops. In a zombie apocalypse. Truck. What's the matter with that? Which one is cooler? He's driving a four-door truck that says it all. He's living and he's existing. He's like, yeah, I'm cruising and I'm gonna go to the beach now. And this guy's like, yeah, I'm gonna go home and watch TV. I'm not sure of the definition of cool, but. If it means doing what he wants, when he wants, the guy with the truck. After 12 groups in two days, we learn that truck guys are 85% more handsome. That one right there has way more sex appeal. 76% more resourceful. I'm gonna call him. If you're in a jam, call the truck. And 100% more likely to have an awesome pet. Tell my wolf, Husky. Clearly, people feel strongly about truck guys. It is the guy. I'm Scott, and this is the all new 2015 Chevy Colorado. <laughs> 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 
with built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi. Best in class V6 fuel economy. It feels like a car. Advanced safety features. Wonderful. And a flexible cargo bed. You guys want to check out the bed? truck. The all new Chevy Colorado. I tell you, after I saw that I grew a beard and I got a truck, um, but I'm not sure it made me any cooler. Um, the next piece I'd actually like to show you um, was around one of probably the biggest nights of the year in terms of sports, and that's the Super Bowl. And we thought we would lean into that a little bit and create a bit of a disruption. And I think no matter where you live, if you call football what we call soccer, or you have a different sport from your home country, um, it all comes down to that anticipation when you sit down with your friends and at a party and you want to watch what's going on. And we played with that a little bit. And uh, in fact, we just won a lion for it at Con this week. So let's let's take a look. And Super Bowl 49 is just. examples, I think, of how we're finding new roads at the brand, product side, entering segments, how we communicate the type of, of messaging, and how we can really make a meaningful connection with consumers around something they really value. And I think today with marketing, it's about being more focused, connecting with consumers on their terms, and really engaging in conversations. We have to be great storytellers, and I think at Chevrolet, we have a really great story to tell. It's a story about a brand that's growing and becoming more relevant around the world. And we have a huge opportunity this year with the four vehicles you see here on stage. And our leading global vehicle, the all new Cruise, you'll be able to see tomorrow. We're gonna have an opportunity with that as well to draw more and more people to the Chevrolet brand. I believe that's because each of one of these new products has been designed to deliver on the promise of fine new roads of great design, performance that makes you smile, technology that's simple to use, and exceptional value. And that's ultimately how Chevrolet intends to win. And it's how we intend to convince people to tap them, to help them find new roads. So I'd like to thank you for coming such a long way to Detroit, many of you. I wish you a pleasant stay here in the Motor City.